Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. I am the iTunes fanboy. In this video, I thought I'd do a comparison between the first iPhone right here and the iPhone 14 Pro. Now I can go ahead and get on with the actual video. Okay, so how does it compare? To, how does the first iPhone compare against the latest iPhone 14 Pro, a smartphone that's 15 years newer than the original iPhone? Let's find out. So first up, let's do a design comparison. So right here, here you can tell you here's the sides big camera bump that's way too big on the original iphone i like how it tells the storage bear capacity on the back that's something i wish iphones still did weirdly enough and i also like how it says iphone on here just because i like i just like that appeal it also is handy that it says a serial number on the back i guess unless you're showing the phone and i also do but however i don't like this antenna this plastic antenna on the back because it makes the these things on my two other iPhone 2Gs, they fell, they fell off. And so I had to tape them back on, which is such a pain. I've heard a lot of other 2G users have to do that too. And obviously on the first iPhone, you have a 30 pin port in your speakers. On the iPhone 14 Pro, you have your lightning port in the speakers, which hasn't changed since the iPhone 5. Then on the this left side, it's still the same. It's just your front. Yes, my cat is meowing in the background. Obviously, you get your mute switch and then you, your volume rocker is on both sides. I like how this has a little bit of an edge to it right here. That makes the volume buttons feel more premium. Don't worry, my cat Mike just has the zoomies. And then on the front, you have your bezels, which are actually pretty thin on the sides, your home button on the original. Then you have your dynamic island and your speaker on the 14 iPhone 14 Pro a speed test comparison between the two phones so let's start with calendar in three two one it is not to march 2000 i don't know what my original iphone was thinking that's my automated letter box running in the background now let's do photos in three two one Now let's do camera in three, two, one. You can already see a bit of a comparison, which we'll go more in depth into later. Now let's do YouTube in three, two, one. There we go. I think it's faster on the 14 Pro, though I'm not sure. It could have been fast. It could have been faster of the faster on the original iPhone because it's not actually because it's not actually loading anything because YouTube no longer works on iPhones that old. Let's try a stock app in three, two, one. 2G was faster on that. It's a bit odd. Okay, let's not do maps. Let's not do weather because those will immediately expose my locations. Let's do clock in three, two, one. Obviously, the iPhone 14 Pro did that faster. And let's go to stopwatch and let's just see. And yes, this is a bug on iOS 1.0, by the way. It shows how that shows that shows never ending timer. That's always a big bug. And iOS 1.0, I don't know why that is, but that's just a bug. Okay, so now let's do a timeline, a touch screen responsiveness test where I test to see how how my may input times I can tap this make a lapse on the stopwatch and within 15 seconds. So let's go. I mean, it did 87 on the 14 Pro, 67 on the four, on the original iPhone. And as you can tell, it doesn't count continue counting when you make a lap on the stopwatch, which I find a bit handy in some cases, but not too handy in this case. Now let's go to the calculator app in three, two, one. About the same. Now let's go to the notes app in three, two, one. 14 Pro is faster. 
Let's do se settings in three, two, one. I don't know which that, that was about the same. Let's not go to phone, let's not go to mail because that's personal information. Obviously on 2G it's gonna be fine because I don't browse the web on there. Okay, let's try apple.com in three, two, one. Yes. It did it very quickly on the their 14 Pro. Okay, it did, did it faster on the iPhone 14 Pro. Still cool it connected on the 2G though. Let's actually tr let's actually try Google.com while we're at it. Let's go Google.com in three, two, one. Two, 14 Pro did that faster. The 2G was actually not far behind. Now let's go to music and three iPod on the 2G, music on the 14 Pro in three, two, one. Obviously a little faster on the 14 Pro. Set this in because I forgot, but let's go ahead, but let's go ahead and do a shutdown test between the two phones in three, two, one. Fourteen Pro did that faster. Now let's boo, boo up both phones and let's get my timer ready or my stopwatch. My other two G. Don't know how fair, accurate, fair and accurate that was, but we can. But again, it's hard to. It's hard to do boot tests. Okay, Apple logo went off on the 14 Pro. And then right here, there we go, there is the, it boot, it didn't take that long to boot up on the 14, take much longer to boot up on the 2G compared to the 14 Pro, though it still took, took a little longer on the iPhone 2G. And now that we've done with the speed test, let's move on to a camera comparison. So I'm gonna go take some photos and then, we can see how the camera has evolved. Always thank you all for watching this YouTube video. I'm the iTunes fanboy and peace out.